Hello and welcome. My name is Jason Baker. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to import digital comics into LaunchBox. But that includes big box and artwork and much, much more. Shall we play a game? So the first question you're probably asking yourself is where do I find digital comics? Well, a quick search engine search and just say where to get comics and you want to look for CBR format or CBZ format. That's a very common digital format that's used um, obviously in digital comics. Now the first one and the most popular is Comixology which is now kind of an offshoot of Amazon. In fact even Marvel uses them there um, and you can download and buy comics in EPUB, PDF and various other formats. And there are other uh, types of formats and uh, things available Available, but we'll leave that for the search engines. Next, how do you view those comics? The most popular CBR reader is C Display EX. Why? Because you know, even the website it says it's the most popular CBR reader. Um, it's free, uh, and I like it a lot. I've used it actually for all of my uh, default readers from my comics. I have over 16,500 comics on my drive. So just download, install that, and this is what the experience looks like. So for this video, I've copied over some example uh, comic books. Here we have Secret Wars, uh, the entire first series, and it's in CBZ format. And what this means is this is just simply an archive format. It's a zip file. If it's a CBR, it's a RAR file, which means you can use the common tools like 7-Zip or WinRAR to actually look at the contents of these files. So over here in WinRAR, uh, here we've got Wolverine. So let me actually just go up to the Secret Wars. You can see here is my original CBZ. All I have to do is show uh, the archive contents, open this up, and there you go. It's 25 individual images, and usually the very first image is going to be the cover artwork. All the other images are gonna be the various pages inside of that. So CBR is just giving you a nice presentation. Let's go ahead and open this up. And what it's giving me is a nice presentation of the comic book. What I really love is the little touches that they put into it. So notice here, even though it's two images side by side, if you click on options and uh, double page for one, um, and then shadow, you turn that off, right? That little shadow really makes a difference. It really kind of makes it feel like you're looking at a real comic book. I think what they should do is put in the staples too. Right? That's the one thing for those that are maybe really picky. It also has a, a bunch of zoom options. So this way you can... Um, go to options and you can zoom in and get real close and kind of improve some of the picture quality. It will, uh, it uses some special algorithms to improve uh, the fonts and the look and whatnot. So, so there you go. So that's the CB or the CD display reader. Next, let's go ahead and import everything into LaunchBox. I'm starting with a fresh install for LaunchBox uh, just to make things easier. So what you want to do, first of all, is on the left hand side, make sure that you have platform category selected. This is going to be very important. And the way we organize this will be very important for how it displays in Big Box. First, we need to get the comics in. So let's go ahead and click on the menu item, then tools, import, ROM files. The ROM files are important because obviously these aren't ROMs. These are just simply compressed files. But see, LaunchBox doesn't really care. The way LaunchBox works is it catalogs known file types that it knows of. It knows ROMs and it has metadata and information it can download about those ROMs. But it also has another key feature is we'll automatically associate a program to open those files and also display artwork. We're gonna take advantage of that to actually use CD um, see display to open the comic book files and its artwork infrastructure to actually display our comics in a beautiful format. So here I'm going to go ahead and add folders. I'm going to go to my desktop, my comics folder, where I have uh, copied over a couple of them. So let's go ahead and just simply add Wolverine and we're going to add Secret Wars 1 and 2. Now remember the, the CBZ format is it's it's actually already um, it, it's no it's not a known entity to LaunchBox, but it really doesn't matter because it's all about the association and the organization. So let's go ahead and click next. Now it's going to say which platform are you importing for? Well, I'm gonna, we're going to create one, so we're going to type in comics in this case. Now we're not going to scrape because LaunchBox doesn't know anything about our comics. There's no metadata, so just leave that blank. Then choose an emulator. For now, we're not gonna input an emulator. Um, just leave that blank for now. 
and click next. Use the files in their current location. I'm happy where they're at, so we'll leave them there. And I don't need to search the game database because I know LaunchBox knows nothing about this. So we'll click next and make sure that all of these are unchecked. So if they're already checked, just click uh, check none because there's no artwork that LaunchBox has in their database for these comics. We're gonna have to create the artwork ourselves. And then uh, if you do have an EMU Movies account, there actually is a, a movie for the comics category, which you can download. Uh, so that would be beneficial, but there is no movies obviously for display for the individual comics or categories. And we don't need to look for PDF ROMs or combine them. So make sure nothing is checked on that final options page. Now here's all of our individual files. That looks good. Click finish and it's gonna import these. So here's all my individual files. Now it's time to bring some structure around this. Notice on the left hand side, we have comics. Um, before I bring structure, let's go ahead and set up our quote emulator. Our emulator is just gonna be the C display EX program. So go to tools, go down to manage and emulators, and let's add this emulator. So the emulator name, C display EX, and then find where it's installed. Now, I you can install it where again, wherever you want. I decided to put it in the LaunchBox folder under the third party folder, because that's where it seems like all the extra utilities go. That seemed appropriate. So here is CD, C Display EX. And then it wants me to assign it to an associated platform. Well, now that the comics platform has been created, I can click on the box here, use the drop down, and choose the comics platform. I can also say that's the default emulator. You see, it doesn't have to be an emulator. It's just the default program. If I click on this, what's going to happen? Call that particular program to open it up and click OK. Now, I've made this for the default emulator for all the comics. Would I like to update the existing comics uh, or the existing ROMs <laughs> or comics? I would. So let's uh, click Yes and close this out. So now, for example, here's Wolverine. Double click and there you go, right? Uh, so the program opens up just like it should and we're reading comics versus playing emulated games. So now of course we're missing artwork, we're missing uh, some kind of sorting. So let's go ahead and start to sort these. Now let's go ahead and start with Wolverine. Now Wolverine, and let's just say in our imaginary world, there, there was only one series of, of Wolverine. It was the four, the four issue series. There was no other categories. This is gonna become important. If you're gonna be, if there's multiple series you'd like to import of one title, you're gonna create a platform category. If there was only one of that particular um, series altogether and there's nothing else, then you're gonna create a playlist. So first, I'm gonna add this to a playlist. We're gonna create a new playlist. We'll call this the Wolverine miniseries, okay? If you hit the tab key, it will auto-populate nested name for you, which is really handy. Click on parents, and I want this playlist to appear under the comics platform and click okay. So if I erase my search bar, you'll notice here next to comics is a little arrow. Expand that and there's Wolverine miniseries. Okay, good. Now the next thing is, is I wanna do the same for Secret Wars. However, there was two Secret Wars, Secret Wars 1 and Secret Wars 2. So when I'm organizing this, I'd like to have a Secret Wars category. And then under that, I would like to have a playlist for Secret Wars 1 and Secret Wars 2. So first of all, under comics, right click, and this is why you need to be on platform category. Click on add a new category. Why? Because if you're up here and you go to platform, comics appears, but when you right click on comics and you click add, it's gonna, it's trying to add another platform. It's not gonna let you add a platform category. The only way to get, add a platform category is to make sure you're on platform category as a filter in LaunchBox. So let's right click on comics and add a new category. The category in this case is gonna be Secret Wars because under this category, I want to have multiple playlists. Now for the parent, I want this parent to be the comics platform. So I want this to be a subcategory under comics. Let's uncheck root, right? Everything I want to be under the comics category and click okay. So now when we expand comics, there's Secret Wars, which notice is a platform category. Then there's also a playlist called Wolverine miniseries. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna embed a Secret Wars playlist under the Secret Wars platform category. So let's go back to comics because that includes a list of everything. And let's start with Secret Wars. 
And it looks like I need some more filtering because I have Secret Wars version one and two. So let's just do V1. Okay, there we go. The first 12 issues of Secret Wars. Now, a quick shortcut is you can do Control A to highlight everything, or if it's small enough, you can click on the first um, comic and then hold down the Shift key and click on the last one and that highlights everything. Now that it's highlighted, we can right click and add to a new playlist. So this will be Secret Wars, number one. Hit the tab key so nested name is filled. Now we can go to parents and put that under the Secret Wars category and click OK. Now we're ready to do that for Secret Wars 2. So let me go back to my search filter, go back to Secret Wars and see what is different between the two titles. So Secret Wars 2 has the number 2 in it, so we'll type in 2, and there is my Secret Wars 2. So we'll go ahead and highlight all those, right click, add to playlist, and we will create a new playlist called Secret Wars 2. Now again, the parent here is going to be Secret Wars under the comics platform but it's gonna be under the Secret Wars category and click OK. All right, now we have a little structure. So if I clear my filter here, when you click on comics, you're gonna see all the comics and this is only in launch box, but when it comes to big box, big box filters at every level. So you'll actually have a category called Secret Wars. You won't see everything in Secret Wars in big box. What you will see under Secret Wars is yet two other playlists, one called Secret Wars 1 and Secret Wars 2. But at the same level of Secret Wars, you will also see the Wolverine miniseries because those are at a different, at the same hierarchy where the Secret Wars one and two are at a lower hierarchy. This will make more sense when I show you Big Box here in just a bit. But this is good. So now we have some structure and we can repeat this across hundreds of additional comics. The next step is let's go ahead and create some artwork for this. The best artwork is going to be the comic book cover. So you could go into each file, extract the very first image and then export it that takes too long because somebody made a utility for this. The utility to extract covers from CBRs or CBG, CB, CBZ um, uh, comic images is called Comic Utility Belt. Just do a Google search for that and you're gonna find it here on SourceForge. Once you install it, just go ahead and run it to begin the extraction. So here I'm in um, Comic Utility Belt and you need to do this on a per series uh, set of images, right? So we're gonna do one for Wolverine, one for Secret Wars 1, and one for Secret Wars 2. So first, let's go ahead and find where we have put our individual comics. So I put them on my desktop. And we'll go ahead and start with, say, Wolverine, and click OK. Notice here it's found the four, in, uh, the four individual comics. Now go ahead and click the Select All button to highlight them. Notice it's going to output them to the same folder. Now that's fine by me. If you wanna output it somewhere else, feel free. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the export button. You'll see it cycled through very quickly all four covers. And then I can use the explore button to open up where those images are. So here are the four images. Notice here I can switch and you can see here I have four individual JPEG files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these files. Let's go ahead and highlight all them. We're gonna do a cut and we're gonna move it to the images directory for LaunchBox. Now, so go find the folder where you've installed LaunchBox. Go to the Images folder. Now notice here is an Images. This is for the Comics platform. So go into Comics, and we want to find Box Front. The default display for LaunchBox and for Big Box is the Box Front category. Now notice there's some folders here, North America, United States. Really doesn't matter. You can just drop it right into the main directory. And that's it. So now let's go back to LaunchBox. Let's go over to the Wolverine miniseries. Let's highlight all of them and we will right click and refresh the selected images. And there are our images. So far, so good. Now let's repeat this for Secret Wars and I'm gonna show you a couple of other tricks. Back in Comic Utility Belt, go to Secret Wars 1, select all. Now this time what I could do is I can change my export folder. All you have to do is uncheck the same as source folder. I can drop this directly into the LaunchBox folder if I want to. So I can go into LaunchBox, Images, Comics, and then look for Box Front. You see, normally these are gonna be the boxes of the emulation game, but in our case here, they're gonna be comic books and click OK. Now when I click Export, it's gonna go through all the images, 
those are done. And all I have to do here again is to highlight all these images, right click, and refresh the selected images. And there's our artwork. Now, one final trick. Let's go to Secret Wars 2, and we're gonna do that final process, exporting the covers. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it into the same folder, Secret Wars 2, export it. It's got all those covers. Now let's go ahead and click the Explore button. And all these JPEG images, these are the covers. So we're gonna go ahead and cut them and move those to the LaunchBox folder. LaunchBox, Images, Comics, and Box Front. Now notice that everything is in the single directory. I have over 16,500 comics. This can get pretty unwieldy and kind of messy dropping everything into one directory. You also have the option of putting them in additional folders. In fact, what would be a good name? Well, this is Secret Wars 2. Why don't I go ahead and organize the cover art? So if I ever want to share this with somebody or if I want to make changes to it, um, I can keep it nice and organized in folders. And LaunchBox will just go ahead and look through all the folders for the same images. So now when I go back to LaunchBox, you can see once I've refreshed all my images, then there's all my cover art. Now notice this particular comic has, it looks like the front and back. That's actually just what the first image looked like. So not everything is perfect uh, because the object was just to simply take the first image in the, uh, in the file and use that. So there we go, now we've got artwork. So this looks fantastic. So if I go to the comics directory or the comics category, there's all my artwork. Now let's go ahead and look at Big Box to see what it looks like there. Here we are in Big Box, and notice first of all, Comics does not have its own artwork for that platform, so that's something we have to fix. Let's go into Comics, and notice here now we have a text list. This is not very visually appealing. It is when we scroll through, but it would be nice to be able to look at our entire collection. Also notice that all the comics have been dumped into one single category, but in LaunchBox we took the time to break these up into the, diff into the different series. So first of all, let's go ahead and fix the organization here. So what you need to do is go into the LaunchBox menu. Just hit Escape until you get to this menu. And scroll down here to View Platform Categories. Now what it's going to do, it's going to show us each category level. So now if I click on Comics, notice here we have the three different categories. Well, actually, sorry, the two. We have Secret Wars and the Wolverine miniseries. Remember, that was the same level as Secret Wars. But if I click on Secret Wars, now I have my playlist, Secret Wars 1 and Secret Wars 2. No artwork, but we're going to fix that. Now, if I go to Secret Wars 1, I only see the Secret Wars 1 comic books. But again, I'm not too happy with this text list mode. So to change that, just hit Escape until you go all the way back to the big box menu. Go to theme specific options. Now this works in most all big box themes. I'm just using the default theme. Go down to views and click remember separate view for each platform. You do have the ability to change that, which is gonna be very important because I may want wheels uh, for some categories, but I may want a wall view for different categories. In this case here, remember the comics are at the game list level and notice it says text with details. We want to change that to wall view. Wall view is the best, in my opinion, when it comes to displaying multiple comic books. Click on wall view, and then just simply escape until you get all the way back to the beginning menu again. So now when we go into comics, go to Secret Wars, and then pick one of our categories, now you can see we get a much better display. We can go up and down, left or right, and then just simply highlight whatever comic we'd like to read, and click play. Now you can even eliminate that next step, but that's something I can cover in a, a big box tutorial. And what I mean by that is where you just click on the comic, you don't get a, a whole other list of options um, that would be mostly appropriate for a ROM. 
Okay, so now if we go into the different categories, we have a beautiful wall view displaying our comics. But now we need some artwork for the different categories and platforms. So why don't we go ahead and do some artwork for comics, and then we'll do an artwork for Secret Wars and Wolverine. Now I've spent, I think it was quite a few months actually, creating a custom artwork that was cohesive for the theme that I use in my 16 terabyte retro drive experience. And if you'd like to collaborate on making better artwork, I would love to work with you. I'm not the best at Photoshop, but this is what I came up with. So first of all, I have a Marvel Comics um, imagery for the comics platform. Then I have something for the Secret Wars categories and Wolverine itself. So where do these go? Well, first of all, comics is a platform. So I'm gonna take this image and I'm going to go to my LaunchBox install directory, LaunchBox, images, and go to platforms. Under platforms is a comics folder, folder and these images, when you're in, in wheel view, wheel view is pulling images from the clear logo directory. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. And just to show you what I've done, if we go now back to big box, what you can do is go back to the menu, go to options, image cache and refresh platform wheel images. That's going to force it to look for any new image artwork. Go back to the main menu and there we go. So there's the artwork. Now we need to create artwork for the Secret Wars series and the Wolverine mini series. So we'll go back to my artwork directory. So if you remember, Secret Wars is a platform category. So I'm actually gonna steal and use the same picture for Secret Wars 1 as my platform category. Now the difference here is, the name of the image file must match the category name exactly. That's what LaunchBox is looking for. So I'm gonna take this Secret Wars PNG file, we're gonna copy it, and I'm gonna to go to my LaunchBox install directory, go to images, and this time I'm gonna to go to platform categories. There is my, here's an old one, let's just delete this. Here's my Secret Wars platform category. And then again, Wheel Art uses the clear logo. So we'll go ahead and we'll paste that. So now back in Big Box, just go back to the main menu, Options, Image Cache, and refresh the wheel images again. Now you can see Marvel Comics, and there is my Secret Wars imagery. So let's go ahead and repeat this now, but we're gonna do this for our playlist. If you remember Wolverine, Wolverine was not a category, that was going to be a playlist, as well as Secret Wars 1 and 2, those are playlists. So we're just gonna copy all those simultaneously. So now I have my artwork collection. We are going to copy over the playlist imagery for Secret Wars 1, Secret Wars 2, and Wolverine. Those were all playlists in LaunchBox. So once we copy those, let's go back to our LaunchBox folder, go to Images, and we're gonna go to Playlist. And notice here are the three individual playlists. So I'll just go ahead and drop them in the main directory. And I'm gonna move them to their individual directories. But remember, they have to be in the clear logo. So here they are in Secret Wars 1. I'll move this to Clear Logo. There it is. I'll go to Secret Wars 2. I'll move this to Clear Logo. And then finally, Wolverine Miniseries. I'll move that to Clear Logo. Back in Big Box, same thing as before. Options, Image Cache, Refresh. And bada bing, bada boom. We have our comics platform category with wheel art. We have our Secret Wars platform category with wheel art, as well as our Wolverine playlist. If I go into Secret Wars, we now have our Secret Wars playlist. So that was Secret Wars 1 with beautiful wall art. Secret Wars 2, 
with beautiful artwork. And then of course, Wolverine. And with that, you can also have your own massive category list like I did. Um, all it takes is a couple hundred different imports of extracting uh, cover artwork and generating wheel art uh, to make various types of individual categories. Again, 16,500 uh, comic books here that uh, you can certainly enjoy for yourself and uh, those that are uh, lucky enough to be in a household with you to enjoy this. So until next time, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, feed that YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you next time.